Okay, guys. Thanks for stopping by my whoa, channel. Whoa, 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 don't no, do that. listen. Can I? Can I do me? Thank you. Can you actually hold it for me? So I can. You probably have a good shot. Thanks for stopping by my channel, Chris and Michelle. And today I'm actually doing a vlog, and I'm catching up with my friends here on campus, Evan and Nolan, not the black guys, Evan and Nolan. And it's two years later from what do college men think about natural hair. And I just, you know, we were talking about the video and like laughing about the comments and different things like that. And I was like, why don't we just do a vlog of them just actually really expressing in detail what they meant by the video. There was a lot of editing, so this is just gonna be raw footage and you guys can just see where they were coming from, a better explanation of what they were really feeling when we had the interview, so. I mean, you need to specify what that. Go ahead. I said that, I don't know what they were, what they thought about, about my natural hair texture. I said I was born <laughs> with straight No, you hair. said I have straight hair in the video. Well, I changed it to hat. I had straight hair, and then I had that phase in high school where everybody wanted waves. So I did that whole put the ointment on, put the do rag on, and I had that. You can zoom in on that bad boy. But <laughs> that's what I had, and I stopped doing that in high school. So I don't use the ointments anymore, but it doesn't go away. So if you don't know, like that's what I was born with. I had straight hair when I was born too. I, I was born with like my mom said I had I looked really, really Asian straight when I was born. hair. So that's. What I was trying to say in that video. There's a lot of disclaimers. <laughs> it is. Like, we, it, I really feel like, like we, we said to each other when we were talking about this that we started off the video in the response saying these are disclaimers and these are what we feel and we are not representations. That's of really the biggest thing. The entire thing. African American environment. Uh, I'm sorry yeah. for the confusion to all of you lovely people out there. Yeah. I never claim to be the black man. I'm not the spokesperson of the. Yeah, the I don't race. represent black men at all. Mm -hmm. I am mm -hmm. Nolan Roy. Yeah. <laughs> Born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. With my own choices, my own life, my own circumstances. Because okay, so anything I say pertains to me and me, me alone. So let's just get right into it. Let us get right into it. Joe. Yes. I stand by everything. everything I said in that video. Because everything I did say in that video was speaking about me and my specific preference. I never said I do not like natural hair. And as, a matter, as a matter of fact, I love natural hair. But everybody as a human being is entitled to their own preference. You understand? I, 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 I say I stand by mine, but at the same time I still take back. I, not take back, but I, I wish I rephrased things yeah, a lot rephrase, different. And, and I, I still stand by certain questions that they were So let's talk about some things that you would have wanted to rephrase or what you actually meant. Like, because one thing I will say when I was interviewing guys, you guys were really nervous. And I think you were just blurting out nervous. you, yes, because you guys are <laughs> way more comfortable right now in front of the camera. Maybe because of communications and stuff now but you guys are definitely a lot more shy and quiet oh excuse me fancy no 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 so like like for instance evan how about like the apple comment i was saying the uh area that i, I definitely would not go for a nappy here that's just how life is but i'm when just you say nappy when I say nappy, I mean if you take a comb, it sounds like you're, you're biting an apple. That's what I'm trying to say when it comes to that nappy. That's, that's, that's okay. I'm going to say that just because that's just my opinion. And I'm pretty sure I've never married somebody that has that type of hairstyle or texture. But, stop laughing. Like, what's wrong with, like... I'm not going to say I, I take that back. I'm saying if that's how she, like, has it outside and she walks out not having her hair texture taken care of, then I'm not gonna appreciate it's just, that. You know, if that's what a natural is, then Your harm, comment right? wasn't like... It wasn't like, about texture. It it seem like we're the ignorant ones when, you know, like they misinterpret. Like, all right, so when someone's hair is nappy, it means it's not it's not taken care of, right? So you can have really, what's the what's the thing called, 4C? Oh, like, yeah, 4C. Zigzag coils. Yeah. If you take care of your zigzag coils, hey, when you pull a comb through it, it won't sound like you're biting yeah. because your hair is not matted together, which yeah. is the definition of nappy. So we sure. didn't misspeak. I'm we pretty just misinterpreted. I'm pretty sure I've met somebody or two people, two types of people that had zigzag coiled or whatever type of hair. One of them took care of it and I didn't notice. The other one didn't. The person, the reason I'm basing this opinion off or I'm choosing to say I don't like this type of texture is because I'm basing it off of the person that didn't take yes, care of it. Kind of like and that associate. person, I always remember her having that type of texture here. And I said, all right, so I don't like that texture because apparently everybody of that texture looks like this. And 
Probably not because obviously there's some people that do take care of it. And I didn't know because I found out some people did have hair like that. They took care of it and I didn't notice. Like if, so, so you've definitely thing. been educated over the past two years. Is educated. that something you fear? I realized more things. Like, well, that's, that's what I mean. I am, yeah. By because and ignorance means realize. lack of knowledge. Yeah. No. I mean... It is what it, I'm not saying that I was not saying you yeah. disagree with because it makes me confused. no no I'm not I'm not saying you're ignorant but I'm just saying there's a lot of things about natural hair that you guys weren't really aware about most definitely. I mean black girls have stepped it up sometimes some of them are still slacking but <laughs> the, the community has stepped it up like we see you gotta watch you say see, yeah <laughs> because then the people who have perms gonna come at you. Hey, I'm saying the tar baby. I'm saying like this is why I black men are never gonna get nowhere. <laughs>
I mean, we still did. I still said that. We probably said some offensive things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm I said, yo, the apple joke. Yo, the apple Thank thing. you. That was very mature of you. If you have that, I'm sorry. And I, I sincerely do. I'm just saying if you have it and you, you show it like that to like everybody else, you wear it like that, you don't take care of it, then that's a problem for me. But if you have it naturally. Because you be checking you know. out them 4 C4B girls. I saw you, Evan. <laughs> <laughs> so so me and that and you guys actually you know have talked to a lot of girls here on campus with well you shouldn't be talking to anybody but you've talked to some girls here on campus and naturally here yeah, i found out people that had textures that i said i didn't like but i found out that they are and they look nice with it so it's not even it's so that it's just like it's, when you say find out you're right because we were i mean a lot of black men still are really uneducated because this is once again this is a new thing you know what i'm saying so what we associate with bad hair and bad texture i mean we associate it because taking care like the black woman taking care of her hair is pretty new like the whole natural hair movement is not something that was always around that we know so like the girls who did take care of her hair you know her hair doesn't look like your hair even if it's the same texture her mm-hmm. hair looks better because her is taken care of and your hair looks you know, worse. Like it looks rough. Yeah, it's definitely different. a more popular movement. Of course, there were always naturals for a long time. How old is the big chop? That, that way. Is that something that just started? Mm-hmm. Or is that something that I just heard about it. It's a, it's a couple of years. The natural movement is definitely a couple of years old. This post, but there have been people who have been natural their entire lives. I've never done anything to their hair. But now, when you look at marketing and products and things like that, a lot of it now is geared to ethnic hair and embracing your own natural hair pattern. And I think what people on YouTube wanted was hoping that the black men were in support of you know, black women embracing their natural beauty. And I think, and I know, because I know you guys personally, that you guys definitely are. I just think the interview, things got a little bit, <laughs> yeah, just mis- just misunderstood. But I'm happy that we were able to just like hang out and talk and like, you know what I mean? Clear everything up. If it's not clear, then it's fine. Tar babies for life. Hashtag tar babies. Okay, thanks Hashtag guys. Tar babies. For di- oh, okay. <laughs> thanks guys for you know helping and just vlogging and talking. Chris go go follow Chris and Michelle. Not many of them. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. You want me to put yeah, right. the Instagram no one, up? No the, the put this right there. Yeah. Okay, so follow I'll definitely put their, their Instagram so you guys can hit them up and talk to them if you want to. <laughs> don't hit me up. Don't hit me up. <laughs> don't hit me up. <laughs> don't hit me up. <laughs> Actually, don't, don't tag me anymore. And <laughs> don't forget, guys, if you're interested in more vlogs or interview kind of com- kind of conversations with just random people of every culture in life, hit that subscribe button down below. And as always, happy healthy hair journey. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye. Boom. <laughs> Boom.